Hi guys and welcome to another video of Amazon Bits in 87 where we are doing the draft. Yes. Not a lot of people like me doing the draft, but we're going to do it anyway. And I've listened to a few comments. I've read the comment section down below. I'm going to take my time. That's one thing we're going to do today. I'm going to go La Liga because that's another thing that everyone says to do is go La Liga. And that's what we're going to be aiming to do today. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we can try and hit over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. So... With the draw, it's giving me a good formation as well. It's giving me the formation I want, which is a 4-3-2-1. Um, even though it may give me some bad choices in centre midfield. But we're going to take it anyway and hopefully get a full La Liga draft. As that's what you guys seem to love. So, captain choices. Ooh. We can't not take Laudrup, can we? We can't not take a legend, man. We've got to take it. Like, I don't know what you guys would choose there. Neymar, we could take Neymar, but potentially we could get a team of the year, so we're going to avoid that one. Higuain's got an 89 rated card, Royce, you need the German link, and Quadrado obviously is difficult, unless you do get a team of the year. Pogba, so we're going to allow drop in the striker position. On the left-hand side, the team of the year will be absolutely fucking sick. It's, it's giving me Neymar again, and this is the only choice where I get to choose Neymar. There is obviously the new Depay as well, the new man of the match, but we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with the upgraded Neymar, actually, because uh, he's jumped from a 91 to a 93, I think, so not that far off. Right forward, Team Neymar Messi. Bale. Yeah, Bale will do, the first informed version. Um, gets a link anyway. And the CM position, that's the last one's going to check, check, and then we're going to go to the bench. We're a little bit stuffed here, because there's no Brazilians, there's no La Liga, and there's no Welsh. So we're going to go with Pastore, I think. Even though, actually... Yeah, let's pick the three sentiments. We're going to have to pick the three sentiments, guys, to see. So we get Bruno there. Um, Dabo's league earn. Yeah, so it's Bruno. Um, a straight choice for that one, getting a weak link there. So we'll put him there. And then on the right-hand side, if we can give you some decent fucking hell. This is what I mean by draft. It always fucks me up, especially on this account. Um, I never seem to get good good drafts. So we've got Serie A, league earn. Obviously, would link with... Um, would link with uh, Pastor, and there's no Argentinians in there, so we'll take him, even though I don't really want him. And that's a bit disgusting. So let's go. Now, I'm unsure where the players are, but I know the reserves does kick up a good bunch of players. So we get Di Maria, who would get me a perfect link to uh, Pastore. There's no La Liga players there. No La Liga. So we're going to go with Di Maria, um, getting a perfect link to my man um, Pastor. Yet a fucking again. What the fuck is this? This is where I have no idea where I'm going wrong because we've got a Brazilian, no links. We've got Kandreva, no links. And we've got Leno, no. Well, we're a bit, sh we're a bit stuck out because we need a goal. We might need a goalkeeper at the end of it. So I'm going to take the goalkeeper. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I fucked up here because we're not getting players. We get Ucha. Um, we get a Marvi, who we may, uh, Maya, sorry. Uche, would he do any different to Laudrop? We could drop Laudrop down to centre mid. So I might have to do that one, actually. I'll take Ucha. Whack him there. Uh, Lau drop into the centre midfield here because it's the 36. Oh, shit, he's not. Fuck. I fucked up big style then. That's my bad. That's rushing. I honestly thought Ucha was in... I'm a fucking check. Because I thought Ucha was in La Liga. And I think his old card is in that. That's a transferred one. Ucha, Ucha. No, he's not. He's not. What a stupid fucking... Oh, wait there. Is that another one? Yeah, he's got a Malaga card. I fucked up. My bad, guys. My bad on that one. So let's swap them two over. We can't. Right. Oh, oh. Ronaldo saves the day. Sort of. So we'll take him. We'll whack him over there. He's on 41. Swap him two round. He does nothing. He does nothing. So, I may as well play him there for temporarily. Uh, so, we've got Team of the Year. We've got Legend. We've got Bale. We've got no one. Not even... Oh, La Liga, French. He gets a strong link to my, to uh, to that guy, doesn't he? So, we'll take him. And then, if we put him there... I am so bad at drafting. It's unbelievable. Right. So, there's, this friend, there's him there getting a strong link, Shantom. If we can get Var Varane... That would be a nice one. So we get Rodriguez, we get Musaccio. Oh, we get Gordine as well. I don't want to take the risk because I love Gordine. Um, and potentially could have gone and uh, got his 80, 90 rated card, in fact. Uh, we get Perrin. We get Rami. Now, Rami does get a French link if needed. So let's go with him. 
swap them two over, put him there, and then where is Mendy? We're not picked our left back yet, so maybe we might get um, a better French left back. We get no link there, no La Liga either, is there? So there's Evra, but I know Evra won't make a difference anyway. But we'll take him, we'll take him, even though um, Mendy is a better choice. Because he gets the links there. And then in the right back position, Debucci, Maggio, Koke. And I played with Koke the other day and he's fucking sick actually, so I really enjoyed using him. And then the goalkeeper, don't give me Kamini. It's not, it's going to be Mandanda. Um, one French link to Rami. And I think he's the only decent choice in it. Serie A Liga and Bundesliga, yeah. So Mandanda's the only choice we can go with there. I'm still a little bit, still a little bit fucked off that we uh, that we got messed up with that one. Damn, nothing I can do to sort out this either. Um, we'll sort it out afterwards. But we got a full bench to go through anyway. So let's um, jump on into the better, better players. Where I'm thinking we get Taliso. Now Taliso would be a better choice. Even though we could take Juan Fram and play him there and hope for another centre midfielder. But I think that's a big ask. So what I might take is I might take Taliso uh, over Shantum and uh, he jumps on in there. And Juan, Juan Fran maybe at, at right back. If we take Juan Fran, he gets a strong link actually to, uh, to Godin. Yeah, I'm going to take him. I wanted to use Taliso as well, but unfortunately, it's not going to look like we're going to happen. Um, Dybala, Costa, Spanish. Dybala, Royce. I'm looking. I don't think there's anyone else there, is there really? I can take uh, maybe a Brazilian. But I'm going to go for a super sub of Dybala. So now we've got five choices left, guys. I'm going to go with the goalkeepers and see if it gives us anyone better. We get Casillas, who isn't really relevant. because of, Well, not he is relevant. He's a fucking good, good, good keeper, but... Unfortunately, no link-ups, uh, no Spanish link-ups. So I'm going to go with just randomly. Um, am I happy with the goalkeeper we've got now? No, I'm not happy with the goalkeeper. So I'm going to go with Manuel Neuer because I trust trust him, even though I have got Leno. Um, this will be a centre-back position, I think, or, or left-back. Sol. There's no one there, really. No one there. So I'm going to go with the... Um, I'm just going to go with Radu. Uh, no, Ivanovic because he's the highest rated. Next one, this... Isn't a centre back either. Gulam, Ginter. Uh, I might go with Gulam. Uh, no, I'll go with uh, Coleman being the highest rated. I can't see me getting a full chem draft here. Look at the state. Look at the state. We're getting informed silver. I don't think there's any La Liga there, is there? No. So we'll go with uh, Championship. And the final player to hopefully save this draft. And I think he potentially could have saved the draft. Maybe. Torres. I'm going to put him in there anyway. I don't think he saves the draft at all. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is have a play around and hopefully see what I can do. Um, so let's go. To, I'm going to do it live, actually. So we've got Torres. Actually, if I put Torres there, um, Ronaldo off for Chantome. That takes us to 94. If I swap him with Juan Fran, that takes us to 97. And it's looking all right. It's looking all right, I think. Um... Maybe swapping them two over, or does that not make a difference? Actually, who was out? Uh, he right back, so he would drop it down. And let's see what Ronaldo would do if I put Ronaldo in there. He takes it 92. So what about if I, if I swap Ronaldo with him? It takes down six as well. Shit. Yeah, so Ronaldo's not going to be starting, which is a little bit of a shame. So Shantome's going to jump on into there. Um, and then Mendy... Mendy there. I'm trying to think how else I could work this. Because there is two players which get a purple link, and that's obviously Di Maria. And he's not got enough links, has he? But if I put him there, he's got enough links. Put him there. And it takes us... There we are, 100 chem. Fuck. So luckily, we are able to get that to 100 chem. It doesn't look the best. Only Neymar's not on full chemistry now. Which is not that bad. Which means I might actually start Team Leo Ronaldo over him. Um, as we do get a blue. And what would do? What would put him in there? Minus 7. So we've actually got it to full chemistry. Which is surprising. Um, so we've got a 185 rated draft. We'll see if we can try and get it higher. 
um, with the bench players. Um, but let me know. I know. I know the one mistake I did make, guys, which was obviously, um, which was obviously with fucking Ucha. I, I knew I should have picked his transfer. Well, I, I knew that I should have been looking. That's the only one time I did rush. Unfortunately, got caught out. But saying that it's a pretty good looking draft. The only substitutes I'm looking to make mainly is bringing Neymar on. I might bring. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring Neymar on to there. Pastore, I'm gonna keep. Playing near married midfield. I really don't like Mandanda, so I'm going to take him off and whack it like there. And I think that team should be all right. Decent stats on uh, on Torres. Very attacking team, but as long as we score more goals than our opponent, we're obviously going to win. That's the aim anyway, um, and that's what it's going to look like. So let's put um, Chanton there. It's a 186 rated draft. Let's try and get a Portuguese manager, or, or at least a French manager would be good, actually. A Portuguese or a French so we've got a Portuguese and we got a French. So he would put chemistry there. He would take Ronaldo to 7 chem. Which is probably where we do need the damage from, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Villa, Villa Boas. But I know you guys are going to be um, taking a look into what we've just done. Now, I know the one mistake visually. Like, I'm recording this live. I saw the one mistake, which was Ucha. I'm not 100% if that was the only mistake, but you guys knew my intentions at the start, which was to go full La Liga, um, and we got a full Chem La Liga draft of five French players. No, it's not, not even a full La Liga, is it? It's got, got a little bit of a hybrid going on between Liga and as well. Um, and obviously, it's only our man Ronaldo on low Chem. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to play, play a game, hopefully pick up a few Ws, and hopefully get some decent um, packs at the end of it. I did do a draft on stream a while ago, got fucked over on that one with two 25k packs, which is not the best, but hopefully uh, for YouTube we can get some decent packs at the end to open for you guys. So not a bad draft overall, looking at it back anyway. Legend, few team of the years, and all right, chemistry is all good, it's full chem, and uh, even though we did go and make that one mistake with Ucha, who I honestly thought was a striker at Malaga, um, does have a card, but that's what you get from rushing, not taking your time over it but i'm i think i made up for it you guys let me know in the comments below where i could have uh, changed a few things and now we get into the gameplay and uh, don't worry about what the mistakes we made previous so in the first game he does manage to take the lead there with a nice finish um, from the rebound after making the substitution of noya noya parry now and a brilliant finish but this game was felt trying to spread him out uh, try and move him around and get the gaps opening. Uh, thankfully, Neymar was able to find one of them gaps and finish it into the top corner, making it 1-1. And then into the second half, Ronaldo linking up with Neymar. Um, well, after a bit of a terrible uh, a terrible bit of attacking. Um, but we did get a second bite of the cherry. It's actually um, our man. And it's that guy from Torres, I think it is, from Atletico Madrid. Uh, he was actually all right. Didn't substitute him off. The, thing, the only two substitutions I did make in this uh, draft was taking out Mandanda for Neuer. And also um, uh, bail for uh, bail for Shantome. So I put Demir in the centre midfield position, put Bale at the right wing. Uh, no, sorry, Neymar. My bad. Who kept on bringing on Neymar? Wasn't it? Um, that's the uh, incorrect thing that we were we were talking about. But a brilliant um, goal there from Bale to pull it back to three two. And uh, then we got a very very lucky 90th minute. A, a nice block there from Juan Fran. Brilliant save by Neuer, but it was offside anyway. And Oscar, unfortunately, is unable to uh, tie it up and take it into the extra time, which he probably did want. But our second opponent of the day into the quarterfinals this time around 96 Ronaldo Borneo up front with a perfect link to obviously uh, Yaya Toure um, man of the match Depay man of the match as well on the right hand side to the left and uh, Ramirez and a nice looking BPL a uh, bit of a hybrid as well but Torres getting um, another assist Lauder up this time around uh, setting us off for a uh, nice first goal in the 22nd minute and Lauder even though he is a striker doesn't feel like a striker and I honestly wanted to drop him down like if I had got him in the draft and he could make position changes he definitely would have been the player um, whose position I would have changed down and played him in the centre midfield and maybe gone for all and all um Maybe even, yeah, probably drop Ronaldo into a strike position, sorry, and uh, maybe even put in my man um, near my left wing, probably Bale. That's where he would have gone anyway. But he does uh, bring it back to 2 1 there with a nice uh, finish from Ronaldo from just inside the area. Ronaldo, yeah, again, sneaking the ball over to Ronaldo. First time finish and 3-1 uh, lead in the 80th minute. And nice little finish and that was how the quarterfinals did go. We then push it into the semi-finals this time around. Purple, Messi, who I've not 
done anything with. I've not got him in a draft. I've not played with him. I've not bought him because obviously the team of the year as well. Uh, we have the 89 uh, Benzema, nine, uh, 93 Modric team of the year. Um, nice looking team. Chemistry affected a little bit, but direct from kickoff guys, we were able to get a run at him. And uh, you guys know about the kickoff thing where, I don't know, he just wasn't used to the game. Um, brilliant bit of dribbling here from Juan Fran, uh, doing the defender on the outside, whips it in, uh, header over by Ronaldo and a nice chest and a volley by Ladro does make it 1-0 and uh, sends it into a lead. Great start to the game but unfortunately that isn't how the game did stand Messi linking it with Benzema and this was his first shot of the game as well a nice outswinging shot um, from Benzema from outside the area does put it back to 1-1 just after half time uh, from kickoff as well which was fucking frustrating and I honestly thought this was going to be the game which did go against me but Di Maria linking up with uh, Laudrop running the ball through to Ronaldo Ronaldo making sure we get the goal by tramping it over to Neymar he makes it 2-1 but these games of FIFA were very strange. Um, I did it on a Saturday night, and uh, the games felt slow and, and, like, really, I don't know, really shit. Since coming back from Doha, the games felt really shit. Uh, even though I still play it, I still make videos for you guys. It just doesn't feel good gameplay-wise. It feels slow uh, and lethargic, a bit like myself, you know. Um, but it's one of them games where you just got to win. And I honestly didn't feel dominant in any of these games uh, in the draft anyway, as you can see. Taking the lead to make it 3-2 in the uh, 75th minute. Taking us into the final. 87 Benzema, upgraded... Um, no, no, sorry. The Man of Match Depay, 99 Ronaldo, uh, Oscar, Kabayi, Parejo, um, and obviously a very very weird looking defence and he actually didn't make any substitutions uh, that I do know of but defensive mistake by him does run the ball on through to Di Maria who makes it 1-0 and the goals aren't anything special we are doing this to win guys <laughs> that's the only thing which we are going to be aiming to do in, in this foot draft when you do see it on the uh, on the channel anyway it's built to win but a, a dubious penalty actually a trailing leg does take out Ronaldo but I was happy with just the penalty unfortunately for him he gets a straight red card and fucks up the rest of his game he actually didn't play properly after this as well uh, Jordi Amat getting sent off Ronaldo smashing it into the top left and uh, that is a 2-0 lead sent and it weren't only the uh, only the, like he was going hard guys he was aiming to get loads of red cards we make it 3-0 Bell just for half time and um He's actually lucky he didn't get more than one red card up until this point anyway. He was wiping out left, right and centre. We're catching him on the counter-attack. This time, Bale, in the 45th minute, just for half-time, does link it on to Juan Fran, who's up from the defence, and he makes it 4-0, and that was the end of the game, really. There's one more uh, bit of dubious thing, which is a red card from Di Maria, but all in all, guys, it's been a good run in the foot draft. And that's the end of the game, guys. A pretty boring final, to be honest. This guy was just getting red card after red card after red card. And the uh, first penalty was a little bit dubious um, because of the dive, but... We were able to uh, obviously get the goals and walk away with four victories in the row. So, even though we did make... Um still, I'm still looking back on that first mistake uh, with Uch or, or, or Uche. And uh, still think that I, I, that was only a mistake I made, mean, but you guys uh, may have felt different on that one. Anyway, so we're going to see what packs we do manage to get from a draft um, clean sweep all the way through. We win four uh, games in a row, and we the packs we get, premium gold player pack and a mega pack. Now, it is half ten. I, can't, I don't think there's going to be any... Ooh, shit. Some not bad packs, actually. I'm going to open the Mega Pack first and uh, hopefully try and bag one of them fucking huge informs. Or even some of them upgraded players as well because I've not got a lot of them. No, yeah. Leno. Not bad. Not bad. We get a silver. Ah, this pack's shit, in it? Mega Pack is shit. Uh, we'll save them, though. Leno. Perez might sell. There's no upgrades there, but I know Leno does sell. So we took him in the draft and we're able to get hold of him as well. Um, and also, guys, if you do want to see another draft episode, feel free to hit that like button. Try and hit over 5k likes. That'd be absolutely awesome. And uh, also, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We do win quite a few drafts, um, but sometimes we get jipped with some decisions I do make anyway. So the final pack, guys, and it hits us a Pepe. Yeah, I called that one. Um, so we get a Pepe. We get an uh, upgraded Ta. Maybe an upgraded Sergio. I he's upgraded. Maybe even transferred. And Pepe. But that pack was pretty fucking dire, actually. For winning four games in a row, paying 15k to anyway, And you've seen the shit I've just got for, for winning the draft. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're not. Let me know. Be constructive. Don't be like insult me and stuff. Be constructive as to the way I can build a draft. I thought we did all right to save face. Um, and Legend Loud Drop obviously did help as well. So guys, leave a like, rate, and subscribe. If not, I'm back another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.